How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. I'm hoping that maybe this episode, or next episode or something, we'll be able to get past this Hatham guy and do something. Anyways, what were we doing? Ah, crap. Tab me out. Come on, there we go. Okay. Hello, sir. Skills are terrible. Oh, you know what? I want to go for this one. Ow, quit it. Ow, ow. <laughs> this is way easier. <laughs> NBD. Okay. They're not bugged. Oh my god, they get bit. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was cute. Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult? How do they not hear anything? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gulch. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe I take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe 
I take his cock. <laughs> okay. Fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas. I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> Yeah. Who who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I don't understand. Why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. We just saved his penis. A good deed was done today. So many cinematics. Oh my god. <laughs> Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men. More than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop. In charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. Okay. Sir. So many videos. Ugh. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How did you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Man, this, this whole beginning part is so slow. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself, or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Oh, oh, by all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward. 
Listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. That guy's hat. Swag. <laughs> well, that didn't go as I expected. I think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcat. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Like we used to be all sneaky. It was like walking all casual. No big deal. Perhaps Don Marlborough. No, its residents are too content. One of Lynn are ship free. Yes, those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. To reduce strife between their people and ourselves. Alrighty then. <laughs> okay, no, walking away, walking away. That guy's red flashy things. Scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> After him! Well. Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Okay, find me higher. Do you do that? I'll kill that. Phew, phew, phew. No! Okay, you guys, please. That didn't have to go so well. Oh, win. I 
stay in my hand today because you were once my brother and a better man than this. Or should our paths ever cross again, all debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Traitor! Go on then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. All that madness. Oh, I have to go back in here again. God damn it. He's always leaning on the same wall. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas' fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then. Let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. 